Flying this summer? So are over 200 million other Americans across the country. The FAA is ready, working with airlines to keep flights moving safely, even with the high traffic volume and severe weather that comes along with the season. When storms approach, air traffic controllers first use miles and trail, separating flights by a set number of miles to proactively manage traffic flow. The next step is to reroute traffic around storms, just like a detour around a roadblock. Or since rain below the clouds rarely affects flights, controllers can cap altitudes for flights. Likewise, flights taking off can safely tunnel below incoming flights. Flying above the clouds isn't an option, since storm clouds usually rise too high and block altitudes commonly used by airlines. If all rerouted aircraft are deviating through the same opening in the weather, air traffic controllers use time-based metering to avoid congestion, sort of like scheduling traffic lights. These algorithms are regularly adjusted throughout the day based on data for meteorologists. Many areas frequently experience bad weather and congestion. These areas have predetermined escape routes to channel aircraft to clear skies. Each air traffic facility in these areas can also develop unique severe weather avoidance plans to mitigate the impact of the storms. All of these strategies keep planes moving safely. However, if weather worsens or traffic increases as a flight nears the airport, it may be sent into a holding pattern. It's like a roundabout in the sky where planes circle safely until they get the green light to proceed. Sometimes it's necessary to temporarily keep planes on the ground. A ground stop prevents planes at one airport from taking off to avoid being put into a holding pattern at their destination. A ground delay program is similar, but allows for a limited number of departures to decrease congestion. If this happens to you, please sit tight and rest assured. The FAA is working to get you safely to your summer destination.